agree on one thing, the sheer joy of knowing that someone who loves you unconditionally, not because of your looks or your social status. Well, guess what? Your pets feel the same way. Haven't you noticed all that tail wagging and cuddling? Well, these are all ways of showing you how much they love you. And the love between pet lovers and their pets is what every episode of Heavy Petting is all about. On today's show, we're going to... Someone who's given more than just her time and money to help animals. Stay tuned for this week's Vlogger's Bark. When it comes to heavy petting, this animal lover is sure on our list. We all know of heroic pet lovers issuing pleas and petitions to save animals, and that is important. But what about those who take the initiative to rescue animals themselves? Well, we're meeting with one such hero, Leela Parulekar, who not only rescues abandoned animals, but also provides them with everything from shelter to vaccinations. And she is no new entrant. Her experience speaks for itself. Let's go meet the lady. He's been abandoned. Take him. Ready? Go. All right. Good boy. Good boy. Drop, drop, drop. He's such a smarty. He likes to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Leela Parulekar, who is the founder of the Jeev Raksha Animal Welfare Trust. Hello, Leela. Hi, dear. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Thank you. I love what you're doing here. I mean, I, I'm really dying to get into how it all came about. Uh, you have been on this piece of land uh, for a long time. Many years. 70 yes. years. 70 years. That's your own childhood. That's right. Wow. How, how did, uh, it was you and your parents and anybody else? No, that's all. Just you and your parents. And did you have dogs back then when you were a kid? No, I started dogs this mm -hmm. because uh, there was enough space for dogs. Right. But when you were a kid, did you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? My mother was dead against me. Really? <laughs> There's a rebel in you. I don't, I didn't listen to anybody. Okay. <laughs> So did you bring in stray dogs from the street when you were growing up? Only stray dogs. Only stray not, dogs. Not pets. You've never had a, like a pedigree of your own that you bought? No. And, no. But I've had pedigree dogs that I've collected from the roadside. Right. Abandoned. Abandoned. How many uh, dogs? Well, I've stopped counting really. But around 200, is that? 200. Close to 200 dogs, right? That's, that's amazing. And they're all free roaming. They're not chained. Not chained. Free roaming. People are shocked. But they, you have to have animals free. Yeah. They need that life. Yeah. You can't keep them chained, tied with a rope and etc. Yeah. What is it that what is it that you feel when you are in this place with all these 200 dogs and, and so many other animals around you? I have always felt one with nature. Yeah? That's my temperament. So being that one with nature and one with animals. <laughs> 